One of the biggest surprises from CES this year came from NVIDIA. They introduced their new big format gaming displays. These things look really crazy. They're 65 inch 4K TVs basically, but they have a lot of technology inside that gamers would really appreciate. Uh, they have really fast refresh rates. Um, they also support NVIDIA's G-Sync technology, which really smooths out uh, for gameplay performance uh, if you're having changing frame rates or anything like that. They fit in just about every piece of TV technology you'd want, including HDR, uh, 1000 nits of peak brightness, and um, you know, just in general, a really great display quality. They have a full array of backlighting, uh, so you don't have to worry about uh, edge lighting or any, any particular issues that you see on cheaper TVs. They also feature 120 hertz refresh rates, which are pretty high for a TV. That means if you have a game running up to 120 frames per second, you'll actually see all of that on the screen, and you're not gonna have any of the issues you have with uh, other TVs, typically. And of course, since it's an NVIDIA product, it includes their Shield technology. They include basically everything you'd see in the Shield set-top box. Uh, that includes, uh, they run Android TV, and they'll also ship with the Shield controller and remote. The one thing that these TVs don't have is Dolby Vision. Uh, it's pretty clear that NVIDIA is focused on gaming performance, and that's just not an HDR technology that games really support yet. So we got to take a look at one of these in person uh, with somebody playing Destiny 2, and it looks pretty good. It looks fantastic, actually. It is definitely the same sort of like smooth latency I see with typical PC gaming monitors uh, on a much bigger screen. I typically game on a 55-inch uh, OLED display, and this TV doesn't look as good, uh, but it's definitely among the best I've seen for LCD technologies. Basically, this is a screen meant for gamers who don't want to lose anything that they have from their awesome PC gaming monitors when they move to a bigger screen. In my short hands-on time with the HP display, I noticed that it was just very smooth while playing Destiny 2. Uh, definitely a little different from my normal TV, um, and it's a sort of experience I'm sure PC gamers would really appreciate. And since it has NVIDIA's Shield technology inside, you'll also be able to do everything you can do with that set-top box, so you could stream games from your local computer, and you could also take advantage of GeForce Now, NVIDIA's game streaming service. And speaking of GeForce Now, we also finally got to see it running on low-end PCs. Last year, we saw the service running on a MacBook Air, uh, playing The Witcher 3. This year, I got to see it on even more impressively low-powered computers. So I played PlayerUnknown's Battlegrounds on an Acer Swift uh, on GeForce Now, and I also saw side by side that laptop running the game natively. It could barely play, it was running at like two frames per second. Uh, but over GeForce Now, it was smooth. Um, it's actually running off of a server with the equivalent of a GTX 1080 graphics power, and it felt just as smooth as it does on my desktop at home. And that's pretty impressive for a $400 laptop. It basically opens up PC gaming to just about anybody. And taking that to an even cheaper laptop, I played Rainbow Six Siege on an HP Stream. That's a $200 laptop. It felt smooth, the game felt really responsive, and it, I couldn't even tell that I was running it off of a data center in LA while I'm here in Las Vegas. Basically, it seems like NVIDIA has a lot going on in 2018. Stay tuned to Engadget.com for more news from CES 2018.